The Chicago Bears have cut a bunch of players as they reduced their roster to 53 men before the deadline, which was today. Who did they cut? Watch this video to find out. What's going on guys? I'm back with the Chicago Bears update videos, which I'll be doing uh, weekly during this year. So if you guys want more Bears content, be sure to subscribe to this channel. But in today's video, guys, I'll be discussing the cuts, the roster cuts that Ryan Pace and the Chicago Bears made today. Okay, so today was a deadline. We had to get a roster down to 53 men because the season is only, uh, you know, a week and a half away at this point, right? So we're pretty much shaping out our final 53-man roster, which was released right now, which I think there will be some changes to that still in the coming days because Ryan Pace did make a bunch of pretty surprising cuts, which makes me think he's probably eyeing talent from other teams, right? Because now that everybody has released, um, you know, a lot of players, there's going to be a lot of talent available for even the Bears, teams like the Bears to snatch up. We're actually number 20, though, on the waiver wire, so... All the players that go through the waiver wire, we're going to be 20th in line to actually get them. So that kind of sucks. We won't be able to get probably the top talent available. But there should be, you know, either cornerback signings, maybe wide receiver signings that we are going to make in the coming days. Because right now, guys, we are awfully thin at both wide receiver and cornerback too due to the cuts that we made today, which I'll talk about right now. Okay, so let me read the list of all the players that got cut. Uh, this list, by the way, is provided from shawlocal.com. So shout out to them for this list. But starting from the top, so we got Daniel Archibong, Isaiah Coltler, Deidre Eastland, Thomas Graham Jr., Arlington Hambright, Scooter Harrington, Brian Johnson, John V. Johnson, Sam Kamara, Chris Lacey, Lakea London, Ryan Nall, Daz Newsome, Artavis Pierce, Riley Ridley, Trey Roberson, Deontay Ruffin, Charles Snowden, Tease Tabor, James Vodders, Tyron Wheatley, Artie Burns, Marquis Christian, Mike Pinnell, Adam Redman, and Desmond True Font. Okay, and you can tell by the tone of my voice, okay, some of those cuts I was pretty surprised about. So let me talk about them in a little more detail right now. Starting with the first one that I was pretty surprised with, guys. Thomas Graham Jr. Okay, this is a guy that we drafted this year in the sixth round who a lot of people thought was a steal for us uh, that late in the draft. Okay, we had a lot of high hopes for this guy. Um, some people thought he could compete for that nickel spot or maybe even playing on the outside, but we didn't see much from him in training camp. And even though he didn't flash much, I still thought that they would keep a draft pick that they made from this year. Okay, especially in the sixth round at a position that we don't have a lot of depth in, but apparently Ryan Pace thought differently okay whatever they thought um regarding thomas graham jr they thought that he was not good enough to be on the 53 man roster so hopefully this guy clears waivers and joins our practice squad which if he does he's probably going to be one of the players that we use that protection on because i believe he can protect four players on practice squad this year from being signed from other teams throughout this year so if he does clear waivers he would probably be protected under the practice squad but that's a big if okay he has to clear waivers now and being a guy that was kind of a steal for us you know it's not a guarantee that he is going to clear waivers so it's kind of risky but I do hope he does clear those waivers right because he could be an asset for us in the future at cornerback but that was pretty surprising to me another guy that was pretty surprising to me that got cut was wide receiver Daz Newsome this guy I had a lot of high hopes for going into this year okay when we first initially made the draft pick I was beyond ecstatic that we drafted him right because we saw in college this guy was a beast after the catch, I thought he would be a perfect fit in this Matt Nagy offense. But unfortunately, he broke his collarbone during OTAs. Didn't really play much in training camp. Didn't get a lot of opportunities, really. So he couldn't really show what he had. And I guess the Bears are willing to take the risk of having him go through waiver wires before they put him on the practice squad. Which, again, is pretty risky. Because a guy like this who offered a ton of potential coming out of college. A guy that hasn't gotten many opportunities yet with the Chicago Bears. He could be a valuable you know, pick up for some other team that needs a receiver. So it's not a guarantee we get him back. But if we do get him back, he'd probably be protected again, you know, under the practice squad. So that's another pretty surprising, you know, cut. I mean, I'm not used to seeing Ryan Pace cut his draft picks that he made during that same year. He usually waits like a few years at least, but I guess he's okay with getting rid of him due to whatever reason. I mean, he might be plotting another move at receiver now because he cut a lot of receivers today, okay? As you guys saw on the chart, he cut pretty much most of our receivers we're only carrying five receivers into the season, which is pretty surprising, okay? We, usually the Bears like to keep six. Um, I've seen them keep six practically every single year, but this year, that is not the case. So Daz Newsom, unfortunately, did not make the roster. Uh, going over to another pretty 
not surprising cut, but a notable cut, I would say, is uh, Riley Ridley. Okay, wide receiver Riley Ridley, who we actually drafted in the fourth round in 2019. He finally got cut by the Chicago Bears, which honestly I saw coming, but I, I thought I would talk about it because a lot of people still going into the season had some level of hope for Riley Ridley, okay, a guy who was a very polished route runner coming out of college, you know, the younger brother of Calvin Ridley as well. These things caused fans to be pretty excited when we initially made the pick, but he just has not seen the field at all with the Chicago Bears. The last two years, even though we had some struggles at receiver, you know, Matt Nagy and the coaching staff never actually really put him in there and gave him, gave him an opportunity to show what he had, which could be due to a variety of different reasons. You know, I was reading stuff online, you know, last season where they're talking about his work ethic or stuff like that. I don't know exactly what happened, but he just did not fit with the Chicago Bears. And this uh, training camp as well, like he was not performing that well. He was making a ton of drops in, in practice, some in the games as well. So it clearly did not work out with the Bears. I wish him the best of luck moving forward, but makes sense why the Bears got rid of him. Going over to another pretty notable cut is uh, cornerback Trey Roberson. Okay, this guy we signed last year from the CFL. He didn't play all of last year, I believe, due to an injury. But this year in training camp, he did flash his potential here and there. He was actually one of the highest graded Bears defenders in preseason, uh, according to PFF in the few snaps that he played. So he did show a lot of promise out there, but for whatever reasons, the Bears coaching staff just, I guess, did not have the same level of trust in him. Now, he can also come back to the practice squad, I believe. Um, I don't know if they would protect him, but he's also a candidate to come back um, uh, and be on the practice squad. But it is pretty surprising to me, guys, that the Bears have cut just pretty much all of their cornerbacks okay we only have four cornerbacks on the roster right now we only have Jalen Johnson Duke Shelley Kendall Vildor and Xavier Crawford okay those are the only guys we have at cornerback on this roster right now there 100% has to be a move coming because there is no way in hell you go into an NFL season with only four cornerbacks on the roster and not only that okay they're not proven cornerbacks either we only have one guy that's Close to a proven thing, I guess. Jalen Johnson, he had a pretty good rookie year. But aside from him, it's a bunch of question marks. Okay, Kendo Vildor flashed here and there in training camp, but he did have some struggles in the preseason game. Is he ready to take that second starting outside spot? I don't know. Xavier Crawford, I mean, this guy barely played besides against third stringers. A guy like, you know, a Duke Shelley struggled a lot sometimes in these preseason games. So, I'm trying not to freak out. I'm really hoping that Ryan Pace is going to make a move here and bring in some talent. But he has to do something because, again, we don't have a lot of talent right now in the cornerback room. And not just even talent, guys. We don't have bodies at all. We only have four guys in that cornerback room. Okay, another notable cut then that I want to talk about. Uh, Desmond Trufant. Okay, another cornerback that we cut. This guy, we actually signed him a couple days after releasing Kyle Fuller. So this guy was thought of to be, you know, in the mix of competing for that second starting outside corner spots um, but unfortunately due to personal reasons really um, he was actually away from uh, the team for a, you know a good portion of time because his father died which uh, prayers out to him okay that's a horrible loss you have to deal with but unfortunately he couldn't be on the field then for the Bears recently and he didn't really show much in camp before that so that's I guess why the Bears decided to cut him so again we cut pretty much the majority of our cornerbacks which is kind of worrisome right now but hopefully Ryan Pace is making a move there but then going to the final cut that I thought was pretty notable is uh, pass rusher Charles Snowden okay this was another guy that was a UDFA so he wasn't actually a draft pick from this year but I was pretty excited when we assigned him to our roster right because this guy had a crazy amount of physical tools he was pretty productive in college at Virginia as well so you know a lot of people thought he could be like a Leonard Floyd 2.0 type of type of person right but unfortunately the Bears cut him now he could be coming back on the practice squad which is I think what's going to happen uh, most likely he's not going to get claimed by anybody because he didn't really make a lot of plays in our uh, preseason so unless some other team is watching him pretty closely I think he should be able to you know go through the waiver wire and make it back to the Chicago Bears but that's pretty much all the cuts that I want to talk about you know there's obviously other ones too like John V. Johnson Chris Lacey that you know, these are guys that flashed here and there in practice, but ultimately when it came time to performing in the games, they didn't really do much. So hopefully they come back on practice squad, some of them, maybe a guy like John V. Johnson who had a you know, great connection with Justin Fields. But otherwise, I think most of these roster cuts do make sense. Uh, let me know your opinions down below in the comments. Like, were you surprised by any of these? Uh, what do you think the Bears roster is looking like moving forward? I think it's a pretty weird roster right now because I don't know what to think of certain positions like cornerback where we only have four guys 
wide receiver where we only have five guys and only two of them really are proven right now so there's a lot of question marks about the bears roster right now but hopefully we can still win games with it uh, let me know your thoughts down below guys but as always bear down <music>